What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? Welcome to Garden with Skinny Boy Randy. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, you wonder why I got a Christmas hat on because it feels like Christmas when the weather breaks for me. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful weather. Yes, you guys. How you doing today? Hello, hello, it's your Skinny Boy Randy. Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Garden with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love having you guys here, okay, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Also, if you're new to my channel, slide on over to my Facebook group. And then slide on back, okay, okay? <laughs> yes, you guys. The name of that group is Garden with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. Today, I'm just gonna make a quick video. I'm trying to keep it five minutes and under, y'all. I know people say make longer, but yeah, I just gotta get you guys in and out. Okay, you guys, yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not two middle fingers, okay, okay? Yeah, you guys, I'm just trying to get into this video. If you're planning in buckets, if you're planting in containers, if you're planting in little small, both of these Dollar Tree and my little tool is from the Dollar Tree. Okay, okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yes, you guys have some bone meal, blood meal, potting mix, vegetable gardening, soil. There's a difference between potting mix and uh, potting soil, I mean gardening soil. Okay, there's a difference. Okay, okay. I ain't never went to the mixture school, so I don't know. But yes, you guys, and then I have black cow over here, black cow manure, and I've already taken some black cow manure here. Today's video is about making the best potting container mix you can make. So let me just take you up on the deck. Well, let me show you down here too. These are our items growing into the little 15 things you can grow video. You saw that, me plant that. Hope you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys, my deck is a mess, but it's okay. Because we're getting ready to garden. And carrots coming up. And then I just put a pepper plant right in the middle of those carrots. Yep. I thin my carrots out. And I put a pepper plant right in the middle like I did last year. I put two okra plants in this one here. The burgundy okra. And then these are my peas and my beans. But yeah. The video is about... Do what you want to do in your garden, y'all. The weather is breaking, and I need you guys to get to work. Okay, okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. So let me just show you how to make a quick starting mix. If you're going to grow in containers, pots, whatever, if you're going to do container mix, uh, if you're going to do in-ground in mix, if you're going to do on your deck, porch, whatever. Okay, so what I did was I put a half a bag of the black cow right here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you guys. Just with a little half a bag of black cow in there. And then I take a little bit of vegetable gardening soil. There's a difference between potting mix and gardening soil. Your gardening soil is mainly meant for the ground, but when you're growing in a container this big, you want to mimic the ground. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Now this is gardening soil, not potting mix. And then I'm going to take some potting mix. Oh, I thought I had my uh, scissors, you guys. Just take some of that potting mix. And did this handle just fall off? Dollar Tree, tighten up. We love you, but I'm going to tighten up now. We'll use our hands as normal. And just throw you some potting mix in there. Hope you guys can see me. Are y'all getting this? Yeah, just mix some potting mix in there as well. Okay. And then just kind of toss it around. You guys, you don't have to be perfect. Don't try to be pretty. Be productive. The food will grow. You know. We're not professional. We ain't never went to professional school. We ain't got no money for professional school. We just go in and do what we can do. Okay? So what I want to drop now is some little bone meal. You don't have to do this. And a little blood meal. You don't have to do this. It's up to you. I want to take some more potting mix. And put back over that. 
We're gonna mix it all in, you guys. But it's easier to do a little bit at a time. Cat, can y'all see that? And just mix it in a little bit at a time while it's dry. Don't try to do it while it's wet, especially if you don't have the strength and the energy. Because I ain't got the strength and the energy. I ain't got no money to be going to the hospital, y'all. I ain't got no money to be going to the hospital fooling with these plants. <laughs> but yes, you guys, so you got that mixed in. We got our garden soil mixed in. Did we mix our, uh, yeah, we got a black cow, gardening mix, and gardening soil. And we're gonna throw, uh, yeah, the black cow. A little bit of black cow in there. And just mix it all up. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Just not too many fingers. Okay, okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much. We're over 20,000 subscribers, y'all. Y'all are my family. I love you so much. Thank you. Slide on over to the Facebook group. Garden with Skinny Boy Randy. Yep. If you can. And then we just mix all this up. Okay. So. If you're growing in containers or buckets, your Dollar Tree container, your Dollar Tree buckets, it's the same thing. Your soil is perfect and ready to go. I don't water mine. I don't water it until I'm ready to pot it. So say for instance we're doing one of our Dollar Tree containers, y'all. I know I'm a hands-on person. Let me get it so I can see. Yeah, I'm a hands-on person. I just put it in like, like that. Well, once you get halfway, put it on the mist. If you have mist, this is from the dollar store. Just mist it. Just mist it. You know, to moisten that soil. You have to moisten your soil. Okay. Then I'm gonna take some more and put it over top of that. Just like that, give it a present, not a bead. And then if you're gonna take a plant, we're gonna take one of our tomatoes. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my hand. Can you guys see me? Yeah, I need you guys in the action. Okay, can you see me here? All right, I'm just gonna take my hand, dig down in there, dig a hole, pop one of my tomato plants out, just like this. And I'm talking light, cause I don't wanna be loud in your eardrum. And you wanna get these tomato plants all the way, all those roots right there on that stem, those are roots. Cover that plant up. Yes, all the way up to the cotyledons, the cotyledons rights. All the way up. Just like that. And that's how you do the tomato. Okay? So, yeah, you guys, you want to do your cucumbers, anything. You do it the same exact way. Get you some blood meal, some bone meal, some uh, potting mix, potting soil. You know, get what you can afford. It doesn't have to be a name brand. You get what you can afford. And I'm still talking low because the man over there cutting the grass. And I got my Christmas hat on. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You are the best. I love you. Don't forget. Remember, live, love, laugh. You guys grow stuff and eat it. We just put one of our transplants in. And I know people are thinking, uh-uh, too early, too early. Put them in a container. That way, if a frost comes, you can take them in the house. Okay, okay. I love you guys. You're the best.